Hey everybody and welcome to the Daily Scoops, 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 Scoops for the 26th of January. So today the Mercury makes a quintal to Neptune at 3.39am as that. So when Mercury makes a quintile to Neptune, this can be a great opportunity to tap into your worldly streams, explore your innermost fantasies and strengthen your connection to the supernatural. Your mind can be filled with the wonder of a child, your imagination and creativity can be used to generate unique solutions to any troubles that life throws your way. This is a subtle transit and must be constantly tapped into to benefit thinking out of the box going against conforming can help you uncover new ideas to enrich your life right now it's an excellent time to research anything from newton's laws of physics to the existence of the yeti or the luckless <laughs> monster open your imagination and you will find creative solutions for your problems it's good for meditation personal development and all times of grounded occult and psychic work excellent period to tap into your inner creativity and flow have fun but be aware this can be a deceptive time because neptune's in Involved here so just throw and watch out for that Neptune energy can lead us to toxic relationships drinking too much taking too much drugs or escaping in different ways so also check any new information before you blindly believe that it's true but also find time to have fun and that take life too serious but just don't escape use it as an excuse it's a perfect transit for all creatives who want to write make a documentary or continue on a movie or any other content about the supernatural spirituality alternative science quantum physics or mystical out of the box ideas the ability to blend reality with fantasy is high right now in the practical world make sure you check out all legally blinded agreements before you sign them. People can use words and all form of communications to manipulate right now. So again, watch out for that. There's nothing to fear. Don't give in to paranoia. Just be aware that this can be taking place. And check facts and react accordingly. If someone tries to lie to you, this is a good time for lucid dreaming, breath work and all forms of meditation. Let your mind lead you to your destiny. No, it's never too late to change, but it does take a lot of hard work. You can use this transit to write a one-year, three-year, five-year life plan, as you may be more open-minded than usual. Let your mind roam free. Not all ideas that come to your mind right now will be practical, so just watch out for that. Yeah, it's a good time to use your imagination and tap into your inner creativity. And as soon as when a strong Saturn transit comes, you will be able to tell the ideas that can have followed through and become a reality from those that were just mere fantasy. So yeah, just, you know, let those wacky ideas come out, write them down and then just evaluate them if when you feel a bit more grounded, if you feel ungrounded right now. The moon enters void, of course, at 8 minutes past 3. Listen to the end of this if you want to know. So that's coming now. So what is void, of course? Void, of course, moon in astrology is when the moon journeys through its cycle and it makes one last main aspect, i.e. a trine, conjunction, square, set star, opposition, with another planet before changing signs yet it still makes minor aspects i i call them major and i do include them in my um, weekly scopes and daily scopes but anyway so it will still make minor aspects such as semi-squares set styles quintiles and sister quadrant but it won't make any what's called in inverted commas main aspects when the moon enters void, of course, it can be a time of uncertainty and confusion for many. Because of this, some astrologers suggest it may be best to delay things during the moon void, of course, period. To be on the safe side, it may be sensible to plan ahead, stay clear of major events or decisions during the time period when moon's void, of course, sometimes moon void, of course, can just last for an hour. Sometimes it can last for a day. If you can, it's a perfect time to take some time out to reflect and relax. If you feel affected by the moon void, of course, period. In astrology, the moon represents our emotions and innermost feelings. So this is especially a vulnerable time for some people especially for those with strong cancer or water energy pisces and scorpio in their chart 
So water signs and those affected will especially benefit for taking time out to reflect and check in with themselves, especially on your belief patterns, maybe thinking of starting or continuing the work to let go of them. Excellent time to practice mindfulness and to be open to the universe lessons for you giving gratitude even though it can be a challenging time it can also be a powerful one if we use moon void of course periods as a perfect opportunity to cultivate our inner strength and wisdom and yeah that was the daily scope 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 scopes for the 26th of january